Dark Secrets, a Prayer of St. G. Etched upon the horizon, a template of trees and hills and the outline of a pond. The leaves are dying brightly. The sun melts a thin sheen of ice. It is a time for prayer. Melt away the cold world and become again the child who yearns for you. Daily it is lost. Daily it is found. The constancy of the Lord, who in all things gives blessing. We see its etching, but not its fullness. We are told what is the fullness, he which came down to us. So closely enwrapped are we now in your being, but it is an alien presence, touching upon our lives, but not carrying us away. Do we believe there is a time for it, that great come and get it day, when all will be well? It is well. It is we who live in time. In you are all things instantaneously. In our life, the money has failed. A friend has died. An illness descends. What are we to make of these things? All is well? It must be seen that we are in an instant in eternity, that the fairness of God demands that all be put right, and that he who invaded our world with his dark power will be defeated and destroyed. Messiah said that he saw Satan, like lightning, fall from heaven. This, in principle, this because the end is always seen by you over and against the means of it. Now the means of our lives are not pretty. The prince of the power of the air has fallen through the template of earth on his way down to the lake of fire. If this is not true, what say the attitudes against this? How else were, are these things? By what power? And what scene of the horizon of life did this demon appear? And what were his design, desires? And to whom did he speak? These are not dark secrets. They are told to us. Surely we do not have the knowledge of everlasting infinity, but we have enough and not abstractly, not determined mathematically or by game theory. The person of God came down in our very nature and as a man confronted a vast spiritual power, also a personality. His traits are seen in our destruction. The very virtue of the land, your essence, was in Jesus, the man, tempted as we are tempted, victorious as we are not against whom all the evil power of Satan was concentrated, who perhaps saw the cross but did not know its meaning. It is necessary to know the meanings of things, to push away the darkness, to paint full life upon the etching. And when this is done, when we believe that blessing will come to our failures, our illnesses, our deaths, then we have seen the world as you see it. It will come out of the darkness of time, no more secrets. Death, the greatest secret. But as we enter it, we are fully living the life of Christ. We suffered, died, and were buried. By the power and love of the Father, Son, and Spirit, we rise again to life. All is painted. All evil is gone. All is well. Now we are happy. There is no time that this joy will last forever. Perhaps also we are grateful for the lives we have lived, seeing them now as you see them, all secrets collapsed, the truth shining brightly.